there, it's me, Annalisa Boyd, Orthodox Christian wife, mom to eight, bread baker, candy maker, self-proclaimed doula, accidental midwife, and the author of the Aesthetic Lives of Mothers, Hear Me, and Special Agents of Christ, all through Ancient Faith Publishing. Today we're going to talk about love. The love month. February is kind of seen as the month of love. We start seeing this right after Christmas as as all the Christmas decorations go away and the stores bring out all the hearts and flowers and stuffed animals and all the pink and white and, and pretty red items that are supposed to signify love. You have those cute little huggy bears or huggy bunnies and you know, you're supposed to give that to the person that you care about. Everybody remembers the little candy hearts with all the sayings on them. I used to always want those. I thought they tasted horrible, but <laughs> I always wanted them when I was a kid. I remember that. But what I want to talk about today is love, true love, what love really is. Love is definitely more than a feeling. All I can think about right now is journey more than a feeling. Oh, that was not even journey. That was Boston. Ha! <laughs> Having a moment. Uh, but love is more than a feeling. Our society, the the world tells us that love is that ooey gooey romantic feeling. It'll suggest that, yeah, there are hard times and love will get you through, but not the type of love that they are suggesting. That is not foundational love. The love that the world portrays, and from a very young age, if you think of like the Disney movies with all the princesses or even Lady and the Tramp, there's always this love interest and a happily ever after at the end with no conflict after everything turns out right. That is not love. There is a romantic kind of love and those are good feelings and that's not a bad thing. A lot of us were attracted to our spouse because of things like that, because of those romantic feelings that we had, there was an attraction. It's a, it is, it's a good feeling, but anyone who's been married for more than at least a year, I mean, I don't know, honeymoon, honey, honeymoon period can, can be a couple days to, and you're like, oh my goodness, what did I do to maybe a year, maybe before you realize, oh no, there's more to this thing than I thought. It's not just married and done and happily ever after. It's the same with our kids. When they're born, it is the most amazing thing. Or if we're adopting and we receive that child into our home, uh, if they're from another country and they get off the airplane or we see them for the first time, those there are those love hormones that are released for that child or for those children. It is an amazing thing that really can't be described unless you've experienced it. It really can't. You have no idea that you can go from not knowing this person or realizing what an impact that they're going to have on your life to mama bear mode that if anyone came near to your child in that moment after, as soon as they're born or as soon as you see them, this mama bear thing kicks in. It's pretty incredible. That's the kind of love that God has for us. Now, I want to take it a little further. All of us have had great days with our kids. Those days where we're like, I, I love being a mom. This is what mom, mommying is all about. I, I could do this forever. They're just so sweet. And then we have those other days. And it can be anything from they're just being kind of hormonal and twerpy. And you're like, really, really? Can I just send you somewhere for a couple of years until you <laughs> grow this to a child who really has some big, big issues? It can be uh, behavioral or, or other developmental delays or things like that that just make you feel weary all the way to a child who is destructive destructive of relationships, destructive of property. I mean, seriously, we've been in situations we, where, you know, we have holes in the wall or um, windows, uh, bricks thrown through windows and things like that. Yeah, real, real 
difficult stuff to deal with. And it's hard to look at your child doing during those moments and have those ooey gooey lovey dovey feelings for them. You're kind of like, I tolerate you because I have to, right? Well, at your worst moment with your child, if somebody, and like they've destroyed everything, they have purposefully gone and taken the, the thing that you value most in your home. I know we're not supposed to value things of this world, but you know, we all have something that's special to us. Maybe something that has sentimental value that was given to us by a loved one. And let's say they intentionally went and destroyed that item while you watched and you were furious. If at that moment, somebody came into your house and was threatening your child without hesitation, you would sacrifice your life for theirs, right? Without hesitation. That is the love that God has for us. Not that we deserve it. Not that we've earned it. He just loves us. We are his children. And he did sacrifice his life for us. John 3, 16, one of the few verses I know by heart. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. For he so loved the world that he gave his son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He so loved us that he gave. And that's what we have to remember with our children, with our spouses, that we also, we so love them that we give. It is a sacrificial giving. Love is sacrifice. It is not always easy. Thankfully, I would say for most of us, God gives us those glimpses or those moments or those seasons where we actually get to enjoy being a spouse or being a mom so that when those hard moments come, we can remember it is because of the love that I have for this precious person that I am going to give. And there may be tears involved, and that's okay. But that is the kind of love that God has for us. And that is the kind of love that he has put in, into us for our children. So, when you're having a hard day, and on Valentine's Day, if they don't say I love you, or notice that you exist, and mom, where's the stuff? And mom, what's for her? food and give me food and give me this. And even if they don't say it, your love is there for them. Just like God's love is there for us. Even when we forget to say it to him and tell him how much we love him. So happy Valentine's day. And let's keep working out our salvation. One mama moment at a time. Mm -hmm.